Welcome to the first episode of our series, Greatest Leaders Ever Lived. In this video, we want to highlight Admiral Yi, who he is, his trials and accomplishments, and what makes him one of the greatest leaders ever lived. So, let's dive in. Admiral Yi Sun Sin is a well-known national hero in both North and South Korea, but he is often overlooked in the West. If it were not for Yi's contributions, the Korean peninsula today might well be part of Japan. Despite Yi's legendary status in Korea, his military career did not get off to a promising start. In fact, he did not become an officer until he was 34, making him the oldest junior officer in the army. Part of the reason for this was that Yi failed the Korean military exam on his first attempt when he was thrown from his horse and broke his leg. However, he passed on his second attempt. The military of the Joseon dynasty had several rival cliques, and Yi was one of many leaders undermined by jealous superiors. After being falsely accused of desertion during battle, Yi lost his rank. However, he still had his allies and was soon appointed as commander of a military training academy. It was becoming clear that Japan had their eyes on Korea, and Yi took advantage of this post to build up the regional navy. It was during this time that Yi showed his creativity by creating a revolutionary new type of ship. One of Admiral Yi's most significant accomplishments, which in turn enabled many of his later successes, was the invention of the turtle ship. The turtle ship gets its name from the metal covering over its top deck, which was in contrast to the open decks of the other ships at this time. This covering provided excellent protection against incendiary and ranged weapons. Its primary weapons included cannons, a dragon's head, and spikes on top of its metal plating. The cannons were significant, since the Japanese generally did not use many cannons on their ships. The dragon's head was originally intended only for intimidation purposes, but Yi soon found that he could place various weapons in it, such as a simple cannon, smokescreen weapons, or even incendiary weapons. Finally, the spikes on the metal covering the deck made boarding the ship nearly impossible. It was both an offensive and defensive marvel. Japan launched an invasion of Korea just over a year after Yi took up his post. Yi had never commanded a navy before, but went on to win 11 naval battles in the first four months of the war. Toyotomi Hideyoshi, the leader of Japan, responded by increasing his navy size to 1,700 ships. However, Yi had a number of advantages. First, he made sure his men were well-trained. Second, he knew the coastal areas where the fighting took place well and was able to take advantage of tides and straits. Third, his natural leadership abilities inspired his men. Finally, Yi had his turtle ships. The Japanese launched three more naval campaigns in 1592. Yi unleashed his turtle ships during the second campaign. The turtle ship first saw action in the Battle of Satchion, where Yi's forces destroyed the entire Japanese fleet while only suffering five men wounded. However, one of these five men was Yi, who was shot in the shoulder, although he survived. By the end of 1592, Admiral Yi had won at least 15 battles and forced back all four invasions. Japan retreated from Korea, however, they would not stay away for long. In the meantime, Admiral Yi ran into some political problems. The Japanese decided to take advantage of rivalries in the Korean court and sent one of their men, a double agent named Yoshira, to sabotage Yi's reputation. Yoshira gave false information to Korean leaders and convinced them to send Yi to an area that Yi knew would be too treacherous for his ships. Yi was suspicious of anything spies claimed, but although Yi's instincts were correct, he was arrested, demoted, and almost tortured to death at the behest of his political opponents for disobeying orders. His allies eventually secured his release. In the meantime, Japan, aware that Yi had been removed, launched a new invasion. 
In Yi's absence, another commander, Wan Gyun, was put in charge. However, he failed to secure any victory at sea and was killed in action. So, Yi once again became an admiral. He was placed in charge of the entire surviving Korean fleet, 13 ships. Seemingly doomed, Yi prepared to make a last stand and planned to take as many Japanese with him as possible. He took up his position at the Myungrong Strait because it was a choke point, had a strong, favorable current, was enveloped in shadows from the surrounding mountains, and had treacherous whirlpools. The battle began in the morning when the current was flowing north. Around 330 Japanese warships attacked Yi's 13 vessels. The current soon shifted to the south as the Japanese were in the strait. Consequently, the closely grouped Japanese ships began ramming into each other. The nearly helpless Japanese ships were an easy target for the Korean cannons. Japanese sailors began jumping ship but drowned in the strong current. By the end of the day, the Japanese had lost half of their men and about 30 ships. Admiral Yi took around 10 casualties and lost zero ships. In December 1598, the Japanese sent yet another fleet to Korea, this time towards Noryang. The Battle of Noryang would prove to be Admiral Yi's final battle. Admiral Yi ordered an aggressive pursuit to destroy the fleet. However, this came at a great price. Yi was fatally shot in the shoulder during the battle. Not wanting to lose momentum, the admiral's last words were for his nephew, Yi Wan, to impersonate him by putting on his armor and continuing the beating of his war drum to keep up the morale of his troops. The pursuit was incredibly successful. Around 200 Japanese ships were destroyed. The Koreans, once again, lost no ships. What makes Admiral Yi one of the greatest leader ever lived? His intuition. With incredible intuition, Yi started to build a naval army a year before the invasion, designed one of the best battleships at his time, trusted his own instincts more than any spy's claims, didn't lose any ships, and finally knew he had to conceal his death to keep up his troops' morale and won the war for his country. How to develop your intuition to become a great leader like Yi? Stay tuned for our next video.